I just learned something about making layout overrides that I'm really excited to share with you. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 250. That's right, 250 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel, where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, build them, maintain them, migrate them to Joomla 4. If you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term, or even just get you out of a bind, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and let's talk. Okay, the exciting thing I've learned about making layout overrides. Have you ever wanted to change the layout and something in Joomla and you couldn't find where the file was that you had to change even when you're in the right place for making layout overrides? Well, I learned how to find them and it's all thanks to Rude Van Lent from Hooray! OCH, Online Community Hub. So let's turn our attention to the screen here and get right to it. So here's the deal. I wanted to remove just a simple HR, like a horizontal rule, a little line from OCH blog and Rude said to me, do an override of author underscore info dot PHP. But for the life of me, I could not find where that file was to do it. So I just said to him, hey, I can't find it. How do you do that? Let me just tell you this. OCH blog, the best for showing author information for blog or for articles in Joomla. You should check it out. Quick example here. Look at this is on my client site, fcp.co. Here's the author information. Here's his social media. And look, he's got his profile and it's a long profile. It just looks really great. Put the links in the video description for you to check it out. All right, here we are in the back end of a Joomla site where I've installed OCH blog. We're looking for that file. I am going to make the file name appear on here and we're going to try to find it to do a layout override. All right, so we're going to go to system and then we'll just go to site templates, not styles, site templates. And this is the only template we have installed. So that's where we'll do the layout override. Now, where is this file? Author underscore info dot PHP. Now it's OCH blog articles list. No, it's not that components com OCH blog article list, author profile, authors overview, blog management. No, that's not the name of the file. He told me to do the override for is it over here? Well, here's layouts. Let's see. Is it in here? No, it just says default. Like, where is this file? Well, thanks to Rude and his directions, I did something that just was not intuitive. I clicked on default. That's what you do. Now, why do you click on default? Because then it lists all the files that you can do layout overrides for that extension. Now, see up here, override created in blah, 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 Cassiopeia, HTML, layouts, com, OCH blog. All right, Cassiopeia, HTML, layouts, com, OCH blog, Default and look at that. There's the file I'm looking for author info.php. I click on that. I start to scroll down and lo and behold, look at that. There is the horizontal rule. There's the line that I want to remove. I just delete it. I go save and I've made the layout override on the file that I could never find. I hope you're as excited to know that as I am. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.